good afternoon you know, or good evening, whatever time you happen to be watching this particular video. It's Stephen from James Glen Car Sales and I'm almost without words. We have an E90 335 diesel M Sport with 11,000 miles. 11,000 miles. Uh, we had an absolutely beautiful 2,600 mile E92 M3 Monte Carlo and this was the part exchange. And guys, honestly, it's, um, it's, it's like new, it really is. Um, the only thing that we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to do a fresh service and we're gonna need to take the tires off because they're date stamped 2009. So I don't imagine our customer would be particularly happy picking up their um, rather expensive uh, 335 diesel at, with 15 year old tires on it. So um, the Michelin's, the original OE tires will be coming off and it'll be getting a set of whatever Michelin's um, Stevie from SGM supplies his bus, but it'll be obviously big on, it'll well be on a premium brand tire. Anyway, enough about the prep. Let me show you around this utterly amazing uh, 335 diesel. Um, it's quite special, just in case you haven't had guessed that already. <coughs> so we'll just have a, a gentle wander around. Um, it, <laughs> believe it or not, this, this car hasn't even had a coat of polish. Uh, it literally came in on Saturday, it got a quick rinse off with the jet wash, brought in and dried with a drying towel, and this is the condition that we were left with. It is a comp it's probably the last remaining uh, ultra low mileage 335 diesel E90 left. Certainly in the UK, that is uh, that is without without a doubt. Uh, if you have one that's of similar quality, we would be very interested in uh, getting a chat with you and buying your car for for the garage. Or if you've got one that's even lower mileage, then let us know in the comments. Also, I love the spec, which we'll go through over the course of the video. So, moving in a bit closer, um, when I say that the paint is perfect, yeah, the camera will do a good job of verifying that. And as I mentioned earlier, we have not touched this with anything more than the hose and a drying towel. Not a single mark. I mean, if you have a look at the uh, the hubs, and guys, that's not painted. That's um, you know, that that's not been a Sunday a Sunday afternoon hammerite finish. That's just how they came from the factory. And we'll have a look down from the other side. A complete time warp. Um, have a look at the rear near side, near side alloy wheel. I'm going to look in by the spokes so you can see the state of the hubs and the discs. And obviously the car. It's a shame that the 335s that replaced it didn't have the twin, twin outlets. It does just make the back look so much more purposeful. It even has the optional deployable electric tow bar. Which as you can see, has never been used. Looking down the offside, you can see that there's, again, there's nothing to report at all, guys. The car's just absolutely perfect. Do the same from the from the front to the back. Yeah, we'll have a look at the off 
side wheels, but again, it's the same same story again. going to say I can't wait to see it once it's all finished being prepped but I really don't think there's going to be any noticeable improvement over how the car arrived it really is a true testament to how um, Mr Tear traded the car in uh, and if you're watching this we would be delighted to have any we would be delighted to do business again because it's not very often we get cars in in such incredible condition stretch on the leather and everything is all completely matte it just smells like new as well let's have a look across the back bench but I would go as far as to say I think there's you can probably count on the one hand how many times people have sat in the back Could you get me the keys in this, please? Oh, Lee, big pardon, they're in, they're in the car. So, I guys, had a moment there, I thought I'd misplaced the keys. Um, so, 11,170 miles. <coughs> car is asking for a service that's overdue because the car has been sat for a number of years and the full details of the car service history will be listed in the website which you can access using the link in the description um, so we've got individual audio professional navigation it's also got the adaptive Zenon lights so if you can see the lights just moving there with the steering wheel Uh, so it's also got the individual audio system um, with the 7 bar graph key equalizer, heated seats and we've got your cruise control down there as well. But just everything about it just screams newness. And I just love the the close confines of these I and mean, when you sit really close to the scuttle in them and um, they just feel so, that's the kind of cosseted feeling inside an E90, which uh, the newer cars have lost it a little bit because they're obviously getting bigger with everything else and the final section of the video is a wee peek under the bonnet again untouched this is how the car arrived in with us it's been garaged its whole life uh, that was the deciding factor in uh, part exchanging the 335 with the M3 was just a lack of space otherwise um, the owner would not have part exchanged so that brings us to the end of the video guys I hope you found that helpful if you'd like any more information on the car please feel free to click the link to the garage website that will be in the description below equally if you have something similar that you'd like a valuation on and there'll be a link to our car buying service in the description along with the link to the website as you're looking at a 335 video on youtube i'll put a link to a video up here that you might find of interest also if you'd like to consider subscribing to the channel you can do that by clicking this button down here that way you'll not miss any more stock updates like what you see behind me and you won't miss any more up and coming road tests either thanks again for watching the video guys and i look forward to seeing you in the next one